Okay, I'm going to show a planimeter here that has an adjustable tracer arm and pole arm. In this configuration, I have the pole arm inside the figure that I want to measure. And what that does is the length of this arm does matter in this type of case called the pole outside the figure. You don't use this as much, but uh, it's a little bit harder to use. Gently, sometimes a gain is not shown and you have to figure it out by tracing a known object. I'm going to hold this down. In this configuration, you go the opposite direction of a normal planimeter. And the wheel is going to really revolve like mad. So if I go over here and trace around this figure real quick, I'm being kind of sloppy because I don't want to make the video too boring. The major wheels almost already turned to 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9. It's at 1. 1.2. This is actually, you have to add 10 to that, so that's already 13. It's a fairly poor trace. There it is, 18.3 something. And I've got this roughly such if you divide that number by, multiply by 2, you get 36, which is 6 by 6. So this configuration is an eyeball configuration called the pole out that's inside the figure. And so you're holding this and swinging this thing all the way around like this. You can measure a really big area. And generally, on a planimeter like this, they don't always tell you what the constants are. You may have to figure that out. The general configuration is you have the pole outside the figure, and you just run this around real quick. Quick. Lift it up zero zero and to trace this around clockwise real quick on the bullseye. It reads four. Two inches by two. I can keep on going around here, just have fun. Be kind of sloppy. There's eight. Just keep on going around. There's three trips around the racetrack. You got twelve about there. Yeah, and it reads out directly. In that configuration, the length of this arm doesn't matter, and you just get it kind of perpendicular. This preliminary here is made by LASCO, United States Atomic Energy Commission, Nevada test site. Again, the normal configuration, you have the pole outside the figure. You set this here, zero it. And you run inside the pole, you have this inside the figure you want to do. And, of course, you reset the zero and you swing this whole joker around. need a lot of space. And a lot of times that the, con the uh, gain is not necessarily shown in, the, in here. You may have to run this around to test object. Uh, like on this, is 6 by 6 take the readings and then go through and figure out the Kentucky windage on the object you actually want to measure.